Hey guys, and welcome back to Idle On. And today we are going to be doing card pack openings here. And this should be really exciting because uh, we're going to be opening the ancient card packs, especially. And those ones you can get some high leveled cards, which will give you various abilities in game once you equip them to your character. So let's start out here with the first ancient card pack. Uh, this should be interesting to see what we get. Uh, very excited could be something really good okay wow four cards let's see what they're gonna be we got a dementia card okay interesting walking stick uh jungle and there was another one i don't know how to pronounce the last one but let's see what it even was um dementia has 12 percent mining speed that's pretty this seems pretty good the lustra card there if that's how you pronounce that with uh plus four base luck um interesting uh jungle tree 15 percent chop and xp these look pretty good these look pretty good and uh the walk-in stick 10 base wisdom very interesting so I guess before we get any further, I know that these are not the best gem shop purchases. I know card packs are not the best, but you have to realize I've already bought a lot of gem shop purchases, a lot of the best ones. And for myself, this is a beneficial type of video to make for my channel. So it has other benefits. It's not just like I need something to blow gems on. Uh, this is content for my channel. So I know it's not the smartest gem shop purchases, but you know, cards are entertaining for a channel uh, potentially. So here's another one. And uh, we got a three star Sandy Pot card. A wow. We got a uh, whoa. Let's see what we got. Okay. A stump tree. Interesting. Interesting. A crystal carrot. So 48% XP conversion from talent. I don't know. I mean, that looks good on paper, but I heard the conversion talent isn't very good. So, I don't know how practical that is or isn't. Crystal Carrot. Very interesting. 10% total drop rate. That sounds really good. Sounds really, really good. So, Stump Tree. There it is. 6% total accuracy. Uh, very nice. Oh, what was the other one in there? Did I get... Was it the Nutto card? Um, was it Oak Tree? Uh... Well, either way, I got some good stuff from these thus far. I'm ex I'm excited here. This seems pretty good. It seems like a good way to fill out uh, some of the cards that I'm missing. So let's do some more and see if we can get anything. Maybe a maxed one. Let's see if we can get anything maxed out. Or any other boss cards. Hmm. Uh, okay, we got a couple of... Uh, two starred cards there i'm not exactly sure what levels of the stars relate to on the cars on the cards um so uh where was the first one here it was interesting red mushroom six base luck yeah meh and we got fruit fly six percent catching away gains that could be good afk xp is always a good thing Ooh, Dr. Deficus. Um, interesting. 10% total damage. That looks really good. Like, really good, potentially. Any addition to damage is usually a good thing. So, 10% total damage. Well, this is looking pretty good so far. And the last one was the, f the frog up top there. So, on to the next pack. On to the next one. We'll keep doing ancient card packs. Uh, and I think for now, I was thinking about doing the smaller ones. They might be better for getting a variety, a larger variety of cards. But getting some of the leveled up ones is pretty good too. Oh, we got two that have three stars. A three star Hermit Can card and then a three star Carrot Man card. So let's see what those do. The Carrot Man is going to be... 8 base agility, meh. 
and yeah there's the frog 30 base mp mana points and hermit can though 20 percent to total fishing efficiency that looks really good potentially wow 20 percent to efficiency that's a that's a sizable bonus that is a sizable bonus right there uh gold 15 percent mining xp very interesting so yeah that hermit can one looked pretty good looks like a pretty good bonus i don't do any fishing yet but i probably will soon enough and bonuses to efficiency seem like a good thing so all right so very nicely done let's see what else uh we can get here we've already got a good collection of cards going at this point and I'm definitely filling in a lot of the gaps I have, especially in some things I hadn't unlocked yet, such as medium resources, like that dementia ore. I probably won't unlock that for a while, or be able to even mine that for a while. So, kind of cool to get the uh, card now because I can use the bonus, even though I probably won't have it for a while. So let's, uh, wouldn't have the chance otherwise to get that card for a while. So let's open up another pack. Ooh, there is a three star as well as a chaotic Amarok card. Ooh. Okay, again, some stuff that I wouldn't necessarily otherwise be getting for a while, like the Chaotic Amarok. Uh, that's not something I'll probably be fighting for a while. So that's pretty cool to actually get the card now. And we got a Pincerman 3-star with 4 weapon power. That's huge. That's potentially huge right there. 4 weapon power. Weapon power is a very powerful stat. And 2% fighting AFK gain rate from Chaotic Amarok. Uh, would have liked a higher level one on that, but honestly, I'll take it just because I can't even fight Chaotic Amarok yet and probably won't be able to for a while. So I'll take it. That's, those are some good pickups right there from that pack. Uh, pretty good. I have to admit, like these packs do a good job of like actually giving you some value. They don't just roll you like terrible cards. Like it seems like, well, they actually give you, it said I had a chance at uh, getting, uh, you know, some higher leveled stuff and i'm getting some leveled cards so i think this was a smooth move to uh try some of these packs and there's a baba yaga card oh snap oh snap and we got more regular amrock cards as well of course i don't really need those as much but i'm curious to see about that baba yaga card and where that's going to be at so Let's take a look at that. And of course, I already have my Amrock like three stars. Uh, three stars, so 10% um, skill gain, AFK gain rate. But let's take a look here at. Uh, let's take a look at the Baba Yaga card because that is 30% money from monsters. That's huge. That is a. That is a huge bonus. That's the largest, like one of the largest bonuses I've gotten from any card in terms of just a raw bonus. 30% money. 30% money. So what is the what are the additional levels like in terms of money gain? That's huge. That's a lot of extra money. Especially if I put that on all my characters over time. That's a lot of extra money that will add up to. So that's a pretty big card to draw. I'm pretty pleased with that one. All right, that, that was good. These are some good draws I've gotten here, I think. Especially bosses that I can't even fight yet, so I'll take that. So we can do another uh, another ancient pack opening. Probably one more. So one more ancient pack. What will we get? Uh, some more stuff we already had. Basically, uh, palm tree, sandy pot, iron card. So just some cards, cards we already had. Largely, that's okay. Uh, I guess that was bound to happen eventually because as I get more cards, less likely to draw ones that I don't already have. And obviously Frostbite Tundra isn't accessible yet and neither are events presently, I don't think. So there are only a limited number of cards I even have remaining, but honestly, this pack opening was pretty great because I got some cards I wouldn't have otherwise been able to get for a little while. And on top of that, uh, I was able to really fill out my collection a bit. So let's get one more regular pack and open that and nice got a mushroom and slime 
and wood mushroom. So nice, pretty good. Leveling up a few things and should be good. I really like the Pincerman. I thought the Pincerman was a great pickup. I thought Baba Yaga was a great pickup. Uh, Dr. Deficus, a pretty nice pickup as well. Those all have some really strong abilities, I think. So I'm looking forward to using them in the uh, near future. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me open those card packs so you can get an idea of kind of like what you might expect if you're going to open some card packs. They're not the best gem uh, purchase, but they are kind of cool in giving you uh, a head start with bonuses and things like that if you're a new player. So I will see you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.